is that orthopedic surgeon should think about sedimentation rate and CRP. Does the patient have infection? We frequently order sedimentation rate and CRP, C-reactive protein, tests. These tests can help in diagnosing the presence of infection. It can also help monitoring the progress of treatment of infection. An increase in the number in serial tests means there is an infection that's not controlled. You want to see a trend and not necessarily a single number. A single high number may indicate infection. But if the trend that the numbers are going up, then there is definitely an infection. And if the trend is that the numbers are getting smaller, then this means there is a positive response to the treatment of infection. CRP is a protein secreted by the liver. Acute or chronic infection or inflammation leads to secretion of interleukin-6 and other cytokines by the macrophages. This will lead to secretion of the CRP by the liver. The CRP binds to the dead or the dying cells or to the bacteria. They tag these cells so it is easier for the macrophages to identify them and destroy them. The destruction of the cells is done by the complement system or by the phagocytosis. In acute infection, the CRP increases within 2 hours and peaks within 48 hours. Check the trend for the CRP level. Is it up or down? The CRP has a short half-life. It is about 18 hours, so it drops rapidly once infection subsides, and that will help in assessment of the response of the patient to treatment. CRP is a more sensitive and accurate reflection of the acute phase response than the sedimentation rate. The ESR or sedimentation rate may be normal while the CRP is elevated. The CRP returns to normal more quickly than the ESR in response to treatment. So the CRP is more accurate than the sedimentation rate. The erythrocyte sedimentation rate measures the speed at which the blood drops down a tube. The sedimentation rate increases when the blood drops quickly, like in inflammation and infection and in some cancers. We usually order both sedimentation rate and CRP to monitor the presence of infection and the response of infection to treatment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.